welcome to part 2 of laravel 10 tutorial in which we are going to create the admin panel in laravel and in this video we are going to create the database and we are going to explore our new admin lte3 html template okay so uh, i want to show you that we able to install the laravel 10 in the last video and uh, we are going to create one of the website one of these website after we uh, create the admin panel and we also able to run uh, our laravel 10 website and you can see in the last video we able to install laravel 10 and now uh, we are going to create the database so i'm going to open uh, the uh, php my admin in which we are going to create uh, the new database with na name project 10 okay our folder name is project 10 so we will keep the same database project 10 I'm going to create it okay now i will open dot env file so here i am going to add database that is the project 10 okay okay so we are going to run this php addition magnet command and see it created the default tables okay users table password reset failed jobs and personal access tokens okay so we are also going to check here see the default tables have been created okay so now uh, we are going to download the admin lt template uh, in the last video as well we able to download and this time as well uh, see i will tell you the process of download here you can open the admin lt dot io website okay so you can open this website and you you can click on download link and uh, you will reach here so then uh, you will reach this github website and where you can simply able to download the source code from here okay so it will download like this so after download you uh, simply unzip it and uh, you can unzip and you can uh, see the folder here i'm going to make unzip okay so you can extract this folder and you can go inside and you can check the view here index index 2 index 3 this is the dashboard layout 1 layout 2 and layout 3 okay so we are going to integrate this layout index 2.html you can open and check click on ok and see this is the layout that we are going to configure okay so here you can see like i have explained you in the last video uh, see header see this is the header portion we are going to merge this header okay we are going to replace it uh, we are going to add uh, the header blade file footer blade file sidebar okay so this is the header this is the sidebar this portion is sidebar and this is the middle content okay so this middle content vary from page to page and this is the footer okay so we are going to create this file and this complete is the layout blade file okay so uh, that we are going to uh work on okay so i'm going to show you here uh, we will go inside and we'll explore further and here i'm going to open this index 2.html okay so that you will have more idea about the structure index 2.html okay so here you can see see this portion uh, you can see uh, this complete file we are going to add in layout blade file okay this complete file we are going to add in layout blade file and uh, this uh, structure this number structure we will add in header or and this is the main content you can see this is the main content okay and this one uh, see this one is also the part of the main content see this is the sidebar and this is the main content okay and this is the sidebar once again and this is the footer content that we are going to add in the footer see this part we are going to add in footer uh, this part uh, nub bar we are going to add in header and this is the middle content that varies uh, from for all the pages and this is the sidebar that we are going to add in sidebar okay so uh, these files these folders we are going to create these folders at our end plugins folder we are going to create css folder we are going to create in the next video uh, okay and js folder also we are going to create images folder also we are going to create uh, at our end and here you can see uh, like all the folder like plugins folder complete plugins folder 
that is located i think inside uh, see here this one we are going to copy in inside our public folder and uh, in the next video we are going to uh, do everything okay we will uh, add the folders uh, in the laravel structure okay uh, and also you can see that all these folders css folder uh, images folder okay js folder uh, from the html template we are going to add we are going to copy to our uh, laravel structure okay so one more thing i want to tell you uh, that if you will open the template you can see uh, these are the widgets that we can able to use okay and other than these widgets uh, main thing is are the forms that we are going to create these kind of forms okay so we are going to create these kind of forms here css all the classes are here that we can able to use and you can see the drop downs are also here different types of drop downs okay uh, so we are going to integrate in our laravel website okay you can see all the sliders that we can use for the price range and here you can see the drop down such kind of drop downs okay so it is having everything and here you can see the error see error how how it highlight the field okay so we can use uh, all these kind of things and also we're going to look for the tables see simple tables okay we, we can do uh, we can integrate these kind of tables see like small tables like in orders for orders we are going to integrate such kind of tables and see big tables see here full tables we are going to use this see this is the complete responsive like i have shown you in the last video as well okay so uh, we are going to use uh, these tables as well okay so you can explore everything here and here you can also see the clunder that we can able to use these blenders as well okay so galleries and everything uh, so there are many much more things uh, are there in admin panel that we can able to merge for our laravel uh, website okay so uh, in the next video we will start merging process okay so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for all have a nice time goodbye